Hey guys. So this is an orange pie. Uh, an orange pie zero. So it's kind of like to try to compete with the Raspberry Pi Zero W. So this here is Raspberry Pi Zero. The W version has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And this one is similar, uh, except it has Ethernet and it has uh, a USB port on it, powered by this. And uh, it also has built-in Wi-Fi, but it has this little antenna here, which connects there. So um, I was using one of these in a case like this, which is an official um, Orange Pie case. And it allows you to put this in here along with a little riser board that attaches to this pin header. And that gives you two additional USB ports plus uh, AV output, which is a 3.5 millimeter, and a microphone. So it kind of stacks up on top, it all screws into this case, uh, gives you, there's the AV, there's the USB, and uh, this is the, there's the Ethernet and the built-in USB. So um, as you can see here, I had it configured as my 3D printer, it was OctoPrint was on here. And uh, you know, it's been like that for a while, I have a webcam plugged into it, doing its thing. I was using Raspberry Pi 2 before to do it, and I switched to this because I wanted to use the Pat the Pi for something else. Anyways, uh, I went to go print tonight, and I couldn't print. Couldn't ping this thing. So I rebooted it, and um, it was not working so great. So I picked this uh, little case up here, and I flipped it over, and like, what the hell? Look at that. It's all melted. So, um, obviously this is out, so if we take this out, so this was in like that. This was the actual board here, and it was sitting on there. Basically it all stacks inside of this case, and then you screw this on last. And you can see, there's two flat parts there, where it goes this way. That IC there is that flat part, and the SD card slot is that one. And look at the burn. Look how discolored the board is right here. There was a little thermal sticker on here, which kind of described what type of uh, orange pie this was, and it was completely black. Here's this SOC, which is right there above that area. So clearly it was overheating. Um... That sucks. That just sucks. I, I I mean, I didn't have a heat sink on here, but I wasn't doing anything particularly difficult. And I was in the official case from them. So I wasn't using, you know, a case that I bought separately. This was their case, branded and everything. And uh, it overheated. So this one still seems to work, but very, very unreliably now. Uh, I have two of these, and I put the SD card in the other one, and it boots up and is fine. This one boots as well, but the Wi-Fi barely works. Like, you're getting a couple packets. I mean, it loses probably 80% of the packets. So the SD card, same card in the other version, identical card to this, uh, was working better. So let me go show you what, what happened. Sorry for the noise. I have the printer, 3D printer going. So here's the other orange pie, and here's the board that's attached, this, this little board here, which has the USB. That's the extra board. And inside of here, I have a heatsink stuck on the SOC now. And it's obviously out of the case, because I thought, well, it's going to overheat for sure, but I need to print something, so I just was going to use this OctoPrint. And um, the Wi-Fi, it just sucks. Even this one, which isn't the overheated one, the Wi-Fi drops tons and tons of packets. And it seems CPU dependent. If the CPU is doing nothing, it's fine. Well, generally fine. But as soon as you start doing anything on here, it's losing packets like crazy. And in case you're wondering, sitting there, where's my access point? It's right there. I have a ubiquity access point. So it's not like a range problem. Uh, anyways, so 
I just, I have to print something and I couldn't, it just, it was so flaky, the Wi-Fi. And I had, by the way, I, after setting this up with Octoprint, I never actually printed anything. I had Octoprint up and running. I think I printed like something really small, but I never really did a, a stress test on it. So this ethernet cable is here because that was the only way I could get this thing to work. I went in there and changed the interfaces around. So the static address is on the ethernet and disabled the Wi-Fi. Now the pings are fine. I 100%, you know, pings, no packet loss. Octoprint's working fine. The printer's just warming up, which is why the fans are going. But, um, yeah. So there you have it. I, I really, really don't recommend these. These things, they're not reliable. Um, the Wi-Fi doesn't work very well. I'm running their, what, Armbian stretch, you know, right off their site. Wi-Fi is unreliable. The other problem I had is I was trying to drive um, a TFT screen. It was like one of these. And that's super unreliable. Kind of works, but then it locks up. I mean, this continues to run, but the um, the screen stops working. And I use these on my Raspberry Pis with zero issues. Like, they run for years. Um, no problems. But the drivers on here just are buggy. Um, and like I said, the Wi-Fi is bad too. And obviously, look at this melted case. So, I really, I just, I can't recommend using these. I have two, and I feel like they're both useless. I, I, I guess I can use them somehow in an Ethernet configuration, but I bought these specifically so I could use the wireless. And they don't work well. So now I have these Pi Zero Ws, which have the built-in Wi-Fi. I'm going to just do what I need to do with these, because for my... Printer. I don't need a screen. I don't need HDMI. I don't need anything. I just literally need it to be connected to USB. So I'll have to use a little USB hub or something. I don't know. Or or maybe I'll use um, this Raspberry Pi 2, which I, is in a 3D printed case that I made. This is what I was using for the printer before, and I might as well just go back to it. So, yeah, anyways, there we go. Pi Zero Ws. These are good. Orange Pies. Not so great. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this interesting and you found this helpful about, about these boards. Look at that. It's burned. Crap.